Hi, this is Matt Sweeting, this is Bob Sweeting, and this is Monterey Race Week 2004. They're going to make 20 of these Sesto Elementos, which in English translated means sixth element, the one we don't have. Um, this car weighs 999 kilos, as you see it now, ready to roll. 2,202 pounds. Its power to weight ratio is one horsepower for every 3.48 pounds. It has the super leggera drivetrain, 570 horsepower four wheel drive transmission. And when you put that together on this 2,200 pound chassis, it's zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Flat. I like it. It's specifically for racing only. It will not be uh, street legal for start. So the first yeah, 20. It's a little low for the, for the street. Those ramps in California do your problem. Oh yeah. 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 So a little competition for the Vera? You know, it's in a different category. If you put this on a track, yeah. I think there's no comparison. In fact, we believe that the Ventures are faster than they are on the track. But obviously, there are tracks and tracks. If you have a long stretch where you can go 240 miles an hour, that's their deal. Mm -hmm. We don't go as quick on top speed, but overall, you have very good acceleration and braking. Corner speeds with this downforce, this will make it a faster car than they are on the track, for sure. I've seen other cars be quicker off the line than the Bugatti. Yeah. The Bugatti beats it in the long run, though. Yes, it comes yeah. back. But you know, if you're going to do a strictly performance testing in a straight line, the Bugatti will hold its own against anything once you get enough distance. Do that clear. It has more horsepower than anything. But with, with its power to weight ratio, with its aerodynamics, and the fact that it's all carbon fiber, so it's very stiff and it's very good handling, this is the pinnacle right now. Now what does it use for a frame? It's carbon fiber. All, the whole tub, from head to toe, just like the Ventador, and the roof. All one piece, one mold. And then we even have carbon yellow pits on our suspension arms. So it's the whole wheel, the whole uh, frame there is all carbon fiber. So if you take a look at it, it's all one mold. It's so very mold. resistant to twist. It's very, very stiff, torsion wise. So it doesn't flex, it doesn't roll, it doesn't have that saggy feeling in a corner that you might get with a softer car. It stays on a more steady and static platform. You don't have one wheel dropping, you have it more stable. So this thing can go through corners and brake and accelerate quicker than ever before because it's the lightest car we have. Right. And uh, this car is not built for comfort, it's built for optimizing performance on track. And sure. It's uh, no compromises. Say, testosterone powered. Yep. And people love it. What is the engine that's in this car? It's the Super Legero's drivetrain and powertrain. So it's a 570 horsepower, V10, four wheel drive transmission. Turbo or non turbo? Non turbo. What's, uh, what's the leaders or cubic inches? 5.2. 5.2. Can we see it? No. Nope. Oh. Yeah. You gotta unscrew it. Sorry. <laughs> that you have to ask the president for. Oh. Wow. So it's like the Super Legera, which is very similar to all the other five. Uh, 550-2, all the Lamborghini Gallardo drivetrains are very similar. So it shares an existing unit. It just has a highly innovative chassis, super light. So light chassis on existing drivetrain, very, very, very fast. Very, very fast. You can throw more at this car. Are they, uh, Not objects. Are the brake specialists? Are they power assisted or are they manual brakes? No, they're manual. Well, it's a, you have an air, air foot valve, yeah. and then the air hydraulic booster is mounted on the front of the back. Wow. And you just kind of, just like that. We're stopping, wow. we're stopping 2,000 horsepower cars with the air. Yeah, and, 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 and just what's the touch. stopping time? It's incredible. It's beating the oh, yeah. existing race, carbon beat fiber, this. ceramics. Oh, yes. You don't need big wow. rotors. It just clamps the rotors. It's a whole new thing. We're trying to get McLaren wow. to go with it. Yeah. Even Right now we're doing it on racetracks. So we recently did it on a, uh, a hot rod that's got three Corvette engines in it, three in a row. With that, uh, air brakes on that. Three engines. Yeah, it's incredible. 1,200 horsepower stock Corvette engines. Wow. So well, that's, that's a feature right there, or the present as well, huh? Yeah, the air is so easy to do, and it's so incredible. I mean, if it'll stop the 80,000 pound truck, Six seconds. It will Imagine what it will do to this little feather, huh? Yeah, yeah. We'd like to try and prototype one. Yeah, you should speak to our designers. We uh, we got a call and a visit from Valentino Balboni. He oh, came out he's to such our such a good guy. He came out to our shop in Long Beach. Well, we had an ad in uh, uh, Dupont Registry. Balboni yeah. saw it. And he went and saw he you guys because of that. 
Yeah. Wow, he's he such a passionate ten, guy. He was there in 10 days. Really? And he pulls in with this hot rod Lambo. It's got uh, six Webers on it. On a high custom made tunnel ram type manifold. Mm -hmm. oh, this thing was loud. And him and this other guy pulled in. Mr. Lago. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. such a class act. But I'll he wants to know all you. about our rakes because the Lambos have had so much problem with vacuum mm -hmm. for the booster. Yeah. They just drop it. So they were at manual brakes. Let's make it happen. Uh, have you ever been on a, uh, like a Disneyland or an Osprey farm and they have the rides go? Yes. yes. Like that? That's what it, You that's do this on the seat? Yeah. Wham, 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 wham. It's more stopping force yeah, than yeah. the car. Yes. That's what it, it is. The G force. And it's the present, it's not even the future. You're already doing and it. And so yeah. that's why. Uh, that's why Valentino was interested in what, what we were doing, because you have no vacuum, so you can't power a vacuum yeah. brake booster, so we, we do, do it hydraulically. Just put the power to it. You know, we get to the point of absurdity in rotors. Yeah, look, as, I mean, as look pressure, how big, pressure look how big the Ferrari the ones are, you know. They're so big right now. Pressure is what stops the brakes, not, not bigger yeah. rotors. Carbon fiber is also still a, it's, it's, it's a good compromise for performance but it's very grabby for street use. <laughs> you know it stops you so abruptly. It's a little bit right, well, our system has a perfect feedback modulation to it to stop it. You have pedal feel as yeah. well. A little yeah. bit of travel. Well Not it's only much. gonna yeah. travel three eighths of an inch. Good. But you can feel it. I don't like yeah. travel. Yeah. No, it's right here. On a normal break, it's so horrible. Come in any other colors or just Actually, it doesn't come in a color right now. It comes in carbon fiber, but uh, for two point two million dollars, you can ask for some requests. Yeah. Maybe some padding, change color, everything. Sure. Wind it up.